Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Ubuntu 22.10, which is the latest version available at the time of making this video. So the first step is to download the Ubuntu ISO file. So I'm just going to open my browser and then just look for download Ubuntu and then open the first link which appears from ubuntu.com. Then on the download page of Ubuntu, you can find that Ubuntu 22.04.1 LTS is the latest LTS version of Ubuntu. LTS means the long term support version, which means you can expect at least five years of support for this version of Ubuntu. And then the latest version of Ubuntu is 22.10 for which you can expect the support for at least nine months that is until july 2023 and also the recommended system requirements for ubuntu 22.10 is the same as ubuntu 22.04 lts version which means two gigahertz dual core processor or four gb of ram or at least 25 gb of free hard disk space these are the main requirements Anyways, then just click on download button and the download of Ubuntu ISO file will begin. The ISO file is near about 3.79 GB, so it might take some time. Just let it complete downloading. Now, once the ISO of Ubuntu is downloaded, you can start the download of VirtualBox in case you have not installed VirtualBox till now. If you have already downloaded and installed VirtualBox, then you can skip to the part where I have started with the creation of a new virtual machine. The timestamp is in the description of the video. Anyways, then I'll just look for download VirtualBox for Windows and then in the result, just open the first link that is from virtualbox.org. Then on the download page of VirtualBox, you can see that 7.0.2 is the latest version available right now. We have all the links to download VirtualBox for different operating systems. Since I am running Windows operating system, I am going to click on Windows host and then the download is going to begin. It's of 104 MB, near about 105 MB. So just let it download. Now once the download is complete, you can open the folder in which you have downloaded the virtual box and then just right click on it and then run as administrator. Alright, then the installer is going to open up. Just click on next. In this window, we don't have to change anything. Let all the features of virtual box be enabled and then just click on next. Now it's giving a warning. It says installing the Oracle VM VirtualBox networking feature will reset your network connection, which means if you click on yes button, it's going to reset or disconnect your internet connection temporarily. After that, just click on yes, then missing dependencies Python core. So Oracle VirtualBox requires the Python core package. So we don't have to do anything here also. We can just click on yes and the virtual box is going to install the necessary dependencies which are needed to run the virtual box. So just click on yes. And then finally you can just click on install and the installation is going to begin. Once the installation is finished, you can click on finish. And then the Oracle virtual box manager is going to open up. Once the virtual box manager opens up, all the virtual machines that you have on your virtual box will be shown on the left side and as you can see i have a windows 11 virtual machine already and uh, then let's click on new since we are going to create a new virtual machine for ubuntu now under name you can type the name for your virtual machine i'll just write ubuntu and then you can observe that since I gave the name of the virtual machine as Ubuntu, the type has been selected as Linux and the version has been selected as Ubuntu 64 bit. So that's a feature of the virtual box. Anyways, then if you want to change the location 
where you want to keep this virtual machine then you can click on this arrow under the folder and then click on other and then you can browse to the location where you want to keep your virtual machine if your c drive is on solid state drive then you may want to keep your virtual machine on hard disk so that you can save the space on the solid state drive so you can change the location all right then after that we have to select the iso file of ubuntu that we have downloaded before so click on this arrow under the iso image and then click on other and then browse to the location where you have the iso file and then select the file all right and type and version has been selected already we don't have to do anything here then click on this skip unattended installation and after that if you open this unattended install tab you will see that everything has been grayed out because we have checked the skip option then click on hardware and here you can allocate as much ram as you want to your virtual machine 2 gb of ram has been allocated already but the recommended ram for ubuntu 22.10 is 4 gb if you have sufficient amount of ram in your computer i'll suggest you to allocate at least 6 gb for a good performance but anyways till 4 gb is fine and i will allocate 6 gb all right then processors at least two processor is recommended but i'll allocate four since i have 12 processor core on my computer so in the same way you can also allocate more processors but try not to read the red part all right then click on hard disk the location for the hard disk is in my d drive which i have selected in the first step and uh, let's increase the size of the hard disk at least 25 gb is recommended but i'll suggest you to keep it at least 100 gb if you can allocate otherwise 60 to 80 gb is also fine and then the hard disk type should be vdi that is virtual box disk image all right then just click on finish and uh, then click on ubuntu and then click on settings now under the system tab on the left side we can untick this floppy since it is not needed and then click on display now here we have to increase the video memory we can make it 128 mb that is going to offer a better performance in the graphical user interface and also it is needed while we try to get the full screen display of ubuntu then we can just click on ok now we are all set to start our ubuntu virtual machine so just click on start then this is the first window that is going to pop up here we just have to press enter on try or install ubuntu option all right then the ubuntu installation is going to load up all right then this will be the first window that we get after the installation of ubuntu has begun in the graphical user interface now here we have to select the language on the left side and then we have to click on install ubuntu so if you want to see the languages which are available on the left side you can scroll down and check it out but i'll just keep it on english and i'll click on install ubuntu all right then on the left side you can choose the keyboard layout i'll let it be on english us if i click on indian then i have no option for english india on the right side so it's better for me to keep it on english us and then i'll just let it be on english us on the right side also and then just click on continue now we have two options here normal installation and minimal installation if you want the installation process to be very fast then you can click on minimal installation and then untick both of these options in the other part and if you don't mind spending some time in the installation but you want all the basic features to be available out of the box like the web browser utilities office software games and media players then click on normal installation 
and also tick both of these options that says download updates while installing ubuntu and install third party software for graphics and wi-fi hardware and additional media formats so that is going to take a little bit more time than the minimal installation because ubuntu is going to download a lot of packages from the net and try to install it on your system so obviously it's going to take some time but it will be worth it so it depends upon you i'll select the normal installation and then i'll click on continue then erase disk and install ubuntu if you want you can click on advanced feature but there's nothing to change here so i'll just click on ok and uh, if you want to create partitions for ubuntu right at the time of the installation process you can click on something else and then you can actually create or resize partitions according to your need or according to how you're going to use ubuntu but if you're not sure about that at the moment then just click on erase disk and install ubuntu and then click on install now then it's going to give you a message saying write the changes to disk here we just have to click on continue all right now it's going to ask for the location where you are so that ubuntu can set up your time zone as you can see in the us also we have so many time zones for other countries you can click on the time zone which you belong to in india we have only one time zone so no matter where i click the same time zone will be selected and then click on continue all right then you have to give some details about the name of the computer as well as the username so you can just type your name depending on that your computer's name will be generated but you have the option to change them as well and if you don't want ubuntu to ask for your password every time you log in you can click on this login automatically otherwise let it be on require my password to log in it's more secure all right then just click on continue and then finally the installation of ubuntu will begin you don't have to do anything now just sit back and relax while ubuntu does all the work for you then finally your ubuntu is going to restart then you will get to this window where it says please remove the installation medium then press enter so you can just press enter and then your user is going to be displayed just enter your password and you will be taken right away to your ubuntu desktop now it says online accounts so if you want to sign in using your online account you can do that from here or you can just click on skip all right then it's asking help improve ubuntu if you click on yes then ubuntu is going to gather your system information which includes your computer model your location as well as the current state of your machine or if you are not happy with it then you can just click on no and then click on next then privacy option since i don't think i need my ubuntu to know the location of my computer so i'll just let it be on off and i'll just click on next then finally you can just click on done and the installation is over you don't have to do anything if you want you can click on applications and then you can see all the applications that are ready out of the box and uh, if you want to install the software updates you can click on install now or you can just click on remind me later and also right after the installation is finished you can use internet also you don't have to change or set up anything anyways that completes this part of the video if you want to get a wide screen or a full screen display you can follow my next video where we are going to install the guest edition of virtual box to get the wide screen display anyways that's all for this video i hope you liked the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching